Hey, this is James Malinchak, featured on ABC's hit TV show, Secret Millionaire, founder of BigMoneySpeaker.com and co-author of the top-selling book, Chicken Soup for the College Soul. And welcome to The Success Show. I am here with my friend, Theodore Henderson. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you. Appreciate your time. Here. Glad to be here. And you can find him at www.TheodoreHenderson.com. That's www.T-H-E-O-D-O-R-E. H E N D E R S O N dot com. And so, how you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah? I'm loving it, loving it out here. <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> looking good, yep, yep. Sooner or later you learn how to do that, right? So, <laughs> so uh, first question is what got you into wanting to be an author and you know, career strategist, create info okay. products, do books, that sort of thing? Okay, well, we got a little bit of time. Let me just tell you what happened. Uh, I wanted to make a transition from my corporate career. And went through a lot of pain, dissatisfaction with that, and then had some personal trials and tribulation. And decided, you know what, I want to really work through this, and I wanted to write a book. And uh, the book that I wrote, The Wisdom Compass, uh, is what came out of that experience. And uh, a lot of discipline to do that, because it took me two years to do it, not because it was that long of a book, but really it was a half an hour a day in the morning and two hours on the weekend, consistently, and then rewriting. <laughs> and that's what came out of the book. Yeah. And so why do you love helping folks with their career path, being maybe their career coach, business coach? Quite by accident. <clears throat> My corporate career was sales and sales management, technology business. So if you're a manager or a leader in the technology business or any kind of sales business, you're going to be a coach and a motivator. And so I was informally doing that. And then a lot about uh, what I speak about in the book revolves around career development and personal development because that's a lot of what people have a lot of pain and anxiety around. And I decided that I wanted to give them some, some real benefit uh, for their time and their money they were spending with me, so I got certified as a coach. Mm -hmm. And that's how I just kind of just moved on from there, creating products and doing workshops. And so uh, the book. Yes, sir. The Wisdom Compass. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, why did you write it? It couldn't be easy to write a book. You no. Know, a lot of dedication, <laughs> a lot of time, <laughs> organization of your thoughts. I mean, what made you say, you know, I'm going to sit down and do a book? Well, James, I guess as an author, you already know it's easier to say I want to write a book than it is to write one. <laughs> so I actually decided that I wanted to write it because, well, let me just share. Personally, what happened was I had three things happening uh, in my life at the same time. And I call them the trifecta of terror, right? Or the perfect storm. Or the perfect storm. <laughs> Without the movie stars, but the perfect storm. Uh, I actually um, was going through a terrible period with, with my job. I had a marriage that was unraveling, and uh, my mother, God bless her, was uh, sick. She did not die at that mm -hmm. time, but she, w but she was really sick, and I thought I was going to lose her. And, and actually, my way of dealing with that was utilizing um, prayer and meditation, and my favorite book at that time was the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. And the reason I enjoyed it was because not really coming from a heavy religious background, it's a very accessible book. And I found that by using it as a 30-day journey, just stepping through the chapters, using the lessons, that there was a lot of change uh, in me. And actually, I, was, I could negotiate some of these troubles. And I just really turned it into a practical book that way. And so it's a very accessible, practical read, not a Bible study. And you also created uh, your course, the Intelligent Career Manager mm -hmm. audio series. Yes. And why did you do that? And, cause that's, and how is that different from your book, The Wisdom Compass? Well, the Intelligent Career Manager <clears throat> actually got the idea from you. <laughs> I, I, was, I, okay. listened, I, I listened to my clients. It, my <laughs> hey, if, it, if it's a good course, then I'll take credit for there you it. Go. The there idea. you go. It's a good, no, it's a good <laughs> course. <laughs> I actually got the idea from my clients because the people were reading the Wisdom Compass, and I spend so much time talking about personal and professional development, that they were asking about the career piece. And as I mentioned, I went on and became certified. But I also found out that a lot of people, th they go through these really trying times when they lose a job. So either you lose a job because you quit or you lose a job because you were fired. I've lost a job for both reasons, <laughs> right? And the, the hardest part is getting started. They don't know where to start. They, they do things like dust off old resumes, uh, update it. That's not how you look for a job. And I found at, as a career coach and advisor, the hardest part was to get people started. Mm -hmm. And uh, they would come waste time and money, literally waste time and money, because they would have me doing things for them, paying me to do them that they could do for themselves really much more efficiently. 
And so I created a product that stepped them through that. It's cost-effective investment. Steps them through that uh, very systematically. So but that by the time they decide to come to a career advisor or a coach or attend one of my workshops, they're actually better prepared and get more out of it. Mm. And so that's why I ended up creating it. It's just a really a good way to get people started along, uh, along, the, along the road to getting reemployed without uh, having to, to um, spend excess time and money. So for the market you serve, mm-hmm. what do you find is one of the biggest challenges or maybe one, two, or three challenges? Okay. Well, from a career perspective, most people are not who are, who are career people. Let me put quotes around that. Mm-hmm. They're not used to investing in themselves. You, why would you want to be an individual going up against a 10,000-person corporation to get employed? You wouldn't do that if you went into a fight. you go get some help, right? Mm-hmm. It's the same thing here. Uh, so the challenge is to convincing people that they need to do something other than answer a couple of ads online or go to a job board, that they actually need to have an intelligent strategy, do the research, and, and actually go about it as they would if they were treating themselves as a small business. Mm-hmm. So that, that's, the, that's the real challenge there. Those, those things are the real challenge for them. So how does your book and program uh, help them to overcome these challenges? Well, the book itself, because it, it helps you to start to do the self-work that you need to change uh, your image of yourself, to, uh, change what you expect for yourself, helps you fight those naysayers in your life, mm-hmm. right? Uh, whether they're real or imagined. The, uh, the product, the Intelligent Career Manager, actually is a step beyond that. It's a practical step to take one of those avenues. Um, I didn't mention this before, but the concept of the book is based around um, eight things. Uh, one is your personal development. Yeah, the other is your, your relationship with your spouse, which is very different than your relationship with your family. Then your community, your um, personal financial stewardship, then your business life, and then your vocation or your passion, which is, which is not always your business life. Right? And so the, um, I took one aspect of that, which is your business and passion piece of it, and that's really what that, my product is about, the Intelligent Career Manager. So let's say I am a, a client or a customer and I read your book mm-hmm. or go through your audio program or let's just say go th- get your strategies. Okay. It could be coaching, whatever it is. What <laughs> are some of the things I can expect to experience after using, using your strategies in my life? All right. Well, if you're disciplined and you step through the Wisdom Compass program, right, as, as it's laid out in the book, uh, at the end of the 31 days, what you will see is you'll have, a, you will have picked out one point in each of those eight areas of your life that you, ha- you can see a change in. And you will have a road map, because I have action steps at the, to reinforce at the end of each chapter, that you have a steady road map that you can move forward in, right? That will uh, allow you to affect change in all of those areas of your life, incremental change. Because, I mean, as, as you know, you're a coach and a, and a mentor. You can't change everything at once. Right. But you change a bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And, and that's what it's designed to do. Over, over a period of time, you're making those substantial changes, but in an incremental fashion. So you'll notice those changes. And that's, that's what happened to me. I, I used it in that way and still use it that way. What do you say to someone sitting there watching who says, yeah, that's great, but I'm doing all right by myself. I don't need any help. I don't need any coaching. I don't need a book. Mm-hmm. I don't need a, you know, a course on this stuff. Mm-hmm. What do you say to that person? I said, that's great. And if you have any friends that aren't that well off, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the greatest lines I've ever heard was from right. legendary UCLA basketball coach John Wooden. Love him. He said, it's what you learn after you think you know it all that counts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, even, I'll add to that. Not as, not as eloquent as John Wooden because I've got his pyramid of success sitting on, on my uh, monitor at home is that um, I wish I was as smart now as I thought I was when I was 20. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's probably great. what I would say to that person. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, and, you know, it's uh, uh, amazing to me how folks think that they could do it on their own. One of my favorite mm-hmm. quotes, I don't remember who had said it or I'd properly uh, attribute it to that person, but it said, anything you want, do, want to do in life, you have to do it, but you can't do it alone. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I just thought, boy, that's a, that's a profound that, quote. That's good. And Ben Franklin said, mm-hmm. An investment in yourself always pays the best interest. Ah, he's from Pennsylvania too, right? <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> Those Pennsylvania guys. Yeah, right, right. So uh, www.theodorehenderson.com. That's his website. This is the man. You get the last word. I want you to look at the person watching who could be going through some challenging times. 
They maybe need the compass. Maybe they need your course for their career, you know, as the uh, uh, guiding force for mm -hmm. them. And I want you to give them some words of wisdom, parting thoughts. If you come across a tool you think is valuable, do not hesitate to invest in yourself. You're worth it. Mm. And that's all we got to say about that. <laughs> www.theodorehenderson.com, T-H-E-O-D-O-R-E-H-E-N-D-E-R-S-O-N.com. My friend. Thank you, James. Thank you. Appreciate it was a it. privilege to have you here, and we appreciate you serving this great information to our viewers. I'm glad to be here.